so firstly take your image in photoshop cc uh, this is my base image and uh, i will make a new copy by pressing ctrl j so that we can change and we can take out the difference between both image so that's why i take two images so uh, this image is uh, more wide angle i want to make it more uh, flat so to do this go to filter then lens correction i have in lens correction we have custom in custom i want to change this vertical perspective view now i will try to make it more flat all right uh, now we have this remove distortion i will try to make it more flat okay that's fine mm, okay uh it's working for 100 now click on okay uh this is before and this is after so beautiful now i have one more image i want to put it this model on this image so to extract this model from the background i will use this very unique method uh, firstly choose your magnetic laser tool okay now for this contrast i have uh, 60 uh, width 10 pixels and uh, you just drag your mouse in between here now it will automatically take selection so it is very easy to do Now press uh, space to change or move the view. So it's very easy. Now we have this selection and uh, I will fit it to screen. Now press this mask button. We have this mask. So it's looking nice. Mm. Now drag this image to on here. Okay. Mm. Now control T to transform it so that we can maintain the aspect ratio as well. that's fine click on ok and hit 0 ok uh, I think uh, I have to make it more small ok it is looking very nice now rest of the things I will do here ok uh, firstly I have to select the position of this model okay now make a new copy by pressing ctrl j and hide this upper layer and uh, i want to delete this layer mask uh, so that i can uh, work on this uh, uh, shadows of this image and uh, layer mask 
okay now I will convert this image into black and white now click on ok now again go to image adjustments then levels mm. okay uh, I will ch uh, work levels from this adjustment layers okay mm, now fill it with white color so that later we can uh, controls and uh, firstly make a mask I want to work only on this uh, shadows part so that's why I'm taking this uh, shadows very seriously okay now set its blend mode to something uh, like this uh, multiply now see here uh, this is without shadow part and this is with shadow and it is uh, looking more realistic okay uh, now I want to clip this level to this layer only to do this select this layer and uh, press alt on the keyboard then you will have this down arrow it means I want to clip to this only now see here this is without shadow and this is with shadow uh, okay we are ready with this uh, shadow part uh, I will make a group for this shadow make a group and drag this shadow under this group and change it names to shadow okay now I want to remove this uh, gray part now again make a new copy by pressing ctrl J uh, now we have these uh, two layers of this model okay uh, now select this layer and set its pen mode to soft light in soft light the gray tone will be removed we have learned that uh, like this if I inactive this and you can see there okay that's fine and uh, again go to adjustment layers then go to levels uh, I want to work on this uh, so I want to clip it I'll click on there okay now it is completely blend with this background that's really nice okay now again select this layer and uh, okay I will work on this mask and uh, press brush B That's, I want to work and you can easily apply this uh, now you can see here the black area is maintained very nice and very easily we have uh, done this so apply this brush around here and it is very unique and advanced way to change or remove the background So see here very nicely and very quickly we did this so it is very fast and very effective way to remove or change the background
now see this uh, very nicely we have uh, removed the background and I will put it these layers into one group it is called model that's fine okay now I want to match the color tone of this background to this model so select this background again go to uh, this adjustment layer and I will try to do this uh, firstly by this uh, color balance and that's nice and I want to work on mid-tones okay now before and after now see this similarly for shadows okay now the tone is now matching for highlights similarly okay now again I want to do the same step for this model uh, again make a color balance I want to clip it with this So similarly for highlights so see this before and after now it is matching now Uh, you can see here some portion is looking we can see and I want to recover it so it's, uh, just simply uh, apply a brush on there very nicely very quickly we did this now see here uh, this is before and this is after that's very nice okay now I want to uh, put some special effect to this so uh, this is the light effect and uh, I want to such a plan mode to screen now see here something like this I want that's looking nice mm. so I have one more this light effect and again set it spend more to screen so something like this I want if you want to reduce the opacity you can do it so this is before and this is after okay uh, uh, I want to reduce the opacity of this layer, this color balance. Okay. Now again merge all these layers. Uh, but before that, I want to try one thing also. Select this layer, background, go to filter, image nomic. I want to use this noise. click on ok controls that I think it's not working nice mm, ok now I will merge all these layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e now again go to filter and filter I want to go to this camera in camera I want vignetting ok
what is now matching uh, now choose this brush and uh, I want to put some special light effects to this uh, to the some portion of this background so see this light effect very nicely we got this now see this before and after very nicely okay zero and uh, I want to reduce the noise okay on sharpness click on okay now see this before and after very huge difference between both image now again go to filter then uh, levels in levels uh, I will try to find out some special effect to this okay now go to blue channel now I want a very smooth effect to this now this is before and this is after so it is uh, looking very nice uh, I will try some more effects to this firstly select set it spend more to something lighten now see this before and after see before and after it's looking very nice so again merge all these layers uh, lastly I will try to go to this uh, next software so in detail extractor uh, I want zero detail but we are getting the effect as well now add filter mm, I will try this cross balance uh, cross balance okay mm, I want to duplex contrast cross processing so it's looking nice now click on ok so this is before something if you want to reduce the opacity uh, even you can reduce it uh, again make a new layer uh, now set it spend more to soft light again I want uh, To work on this dress again mask I want press alt on and press mask and uh, I want to reveal the area of this model it okay now see this before and after so so it is a very uh, advanced techniques to get this manipulation 
So I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, keep in touch with us on Facebook, YouTube and uh, thank you friends. Keep watching our inscription.